and welcome back guys. I'm going to talk about helping you to identify among all the so-called targeted individuals and I just want to put my observation out there into how I more or less spiritually recognize other TIs, valid TIs, credible TIs, but also my understanding toward myself in being a targeted individual. Now first off, I really don't come with the uh, assumption that you should believe that I'm a TI. This is, see, because that is a, more or less, a simplistic base measure to which informants would put out there to begin essentially sorting out through the, through through some of the, the wheat. The terrorists like to do that. They like to, they they, they pick on the the wheat that is the weakest first to, to kind of sift them out of who they're trying to get at, to discredit. And this is just something I've learned is, and even in my own beliefs, my own existence, and even my own teaching, my first rule is, for myself is, I don't exist to prove to others, even real targeted individuals, that I'm a real targeted individual. I'm pretty much to the point where the people that know that I'm a real targeted individual are the people that understand why I'm a real targeted individual and it's really the same reason that they are real targeted individuals. And so beyond this simplistic measure and even this simple scripture type of Christian who will come in, because I've seen some of these people, they'll come in, they'll subscribe, I'll check out my subscriptions list if they haven't privatized their subs yet. And uh, I've seen some of them come and go, and they're they're really knowledgeable about scriptures and stuff, and they quote, and they're they're trying to delegitimize, um, for example, what I do or what people who have podcasted for some time have done as real targeted individuals. I've kind of seen them come and go, and they'll they'll still hang around, and they probably will privatize and then resubscribe. Um, But nonetheless, I want to talk about how I identify other real targeted individuals. And it's not something I really try with some kind of conceited effort or with a lot of force. I don't put a lot of force into trying to recognize real TIs. I think at this point, Real TIs understand real TIs when it comes, A, to a, a spiritual level. There is a spirit, spiritual qualitative factor in um, our existences that have are very trauma-based. Real TIs have gone through some heavy, heavy shit in our lives. Trauma, trauma-based, um, even mind control... Uh, um, we've been attacked by witches. Uh, uh, that's all. That's all, that's on a level with most people, but but some of us have been, you know, really traumatically been attacked by, and even have come from um, situations and families and um, residences which have sought to destroy us. Destroy. They they have sought to destroy us from knowing who we are. And so, A, it's a, it's a spiritual thing with me. It's not about... See, once if we understand each other on a spiritual level, the trust thing is a... Is a it's, for, it's a forgiven. It's already known. It's, or it's a given. It's already known. Okay? And if, if two people are not on that level of trust, to me, it's not about putting the energy out there to try to convince someone to kind of force my belief that, hey, I'm a real T.I., I'm going to put it out there like that, and you should believe me. No, that's not really how I do it, because a lot of real T.I.s, we understand based on our experiences and our own existences um, what really brings us together, and these are matters of the spirit, okay? Um, 
A, that's probably the, the foundation of me recognizing a real TI. If you're all knowledgeable about Scripture, but but you're but you're really base and you're on a you're not a superficial but a very uh, shallow existence of a testimony of being a TI of actually being targeted. You might be a real Christian, but you might you might also not be a real targeted individual. You might be an informant wearing, you know, a couple of ear, you know, a couple of earplugs reading a script. And I've learned that from a people, from people that, you know, I may not identify with as being um, real targeted individuals. But you can learn something from everybody, you know. Um, so if a, it's a spiritual thing. Um, B, it's another important one for me is real targeted individuals. We have a spirit in us, a, a human spirit, that is cause-oriented. It means we really didn't come, or we weren't born into this world to touch shallow bases with other people. We came to bring the truth as in lead. We're leaders of a powerful cause. That And, and the powerful cause is... It, 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 it's life eternal, it's truth, it's existence, it's, um, it's God. We came to, we, you know, when we're talking about God's kingdom living through us, as I mentioned in the last podcast, to go beyond a way of life and to go into life eternal, to the world, this is, this is cause orientation. This gives them credibility to believe that your existence all in all is an ulterior motive to the agenda that that or the blueprint that this world has already put forth okay so a we're talking about touching bases on a deep spiritual level through our testimonies our actual existences the life processes through life okay which now has brought us to being targeted this is what i believe is if you're like a simpleton Christian and you know your scriptures, you're a pure heart, you you may or may not really belong on this channel. Now, if you're an unbeliever who has a foul mouth and and you're a real targeted individual with a lot of existence, this you might actually get something from this channel. I might actually relate to you on a deeper level. Which seems to be happening more and more lately is people, listeners with a deeper testimony to life, to this existence, to the shit that they've gone through, um, they can relate to this as well. I find myself in agreement with people that have gone through some heavy shit in their life and have found themselves on this end um, in being casted out. So they might know it is casted out or being casted out, but I like, to, I like to refer or let them know that, hey, no, from a spiritual level, you've been sanctified away. You know, you never fit into this world just like me. I've been kicked out. I've been blacklisted from working, you know. Um, I'm on a government watch list. And and the other thing is, is when you have, when you're built in this way, when you, when you have a deeper spiritual connection to where real targeted individuals recognize other real targeted individuals, we, we soon have come to this understanding that our whole existence was never to be um, of this world, only to be in it. And that, that's why I say cause. It's not always cause on our part. It's a cause on the orientation of the world and its, its agencies um, looking at us and, and seeing that um, they don't want us. We don't fit their mold. So when I say we're cause-oriented, it comes from a deeper testimony. It comes from a, a, a character builder of a life that you can only really go through um, after the fact of, of of claiming Christ to yourself. So there's a lot of people that um, I've noticed, even in my real life, my life in the real world, my real family, that, like, they're not... I, I know people who are, who are Christian and they're the most shallow, uh, most false self people, peoples that I've ever met. And then I have also other family who are... They're not Christian at all, but they, they, they show more Christian characteristic in their life, in a deep, uh, human, personal, 
relatable, um, sincere, caring level that I've seen in, in some of these shallow Christians. So it can go either way, see? And that's, that's the thing is my discerning measure is are you at that spiritual level, level yet and has the world seen you as, as existing for a cause? And for like, like, and then that's where we, we begin to see why people get targeted is just because someone chooses God and they have no actual testimony means that they're, it doesn't mean they're a targeted individual. Most of these Christians that believe today, they're not, I don't believe they're really targeted individuals. Yes, the church is getting targeted, but you would have to say that the, the, the targeted individuals who are uh, believers and who, who display a cause orientation to the world where we truly are outspoken because uh, through this character building process of being harassed and being traumatized, we have lost all fear. So what the world has made for evil, God has turned and used for good. So these two things always come about. There's an intertwining of this duality of, uh, 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 of the way I recognize real targeted individuals. And I, I have sincere hopes for real... Christians who come in and they're really, they have, they know their scriptures, they know this, and they might know it better than me, they probably do. And they have, and they're new to this targeting, and they, and they come in and, and they might be sincere Christians, but they're not, but to me, they're, they're more or less, uh, they've come in to be doubting Thomases of the targeted, the true targeted individual situation. And that's where I, if I'm not saying these two things come into play at a deeper level, where your Christi- Christianity or your existence hasn't come about through some kind of testimony in life, some kind of life processes, as we just talked about, is there, you're not going to relate to this. You're, and you may not subscribe for long either, you know, because there's a lot of people that do relate to this because they've gone through some, gone through some heavy stuff like me in life. You know, they, they've also been accused of some heavy stuff in life, which isn't true. But none, nonetheless, um, when Christ finds you out, that's when you become real to me, you know. And there are some real, I know real targeted individuals who aren't believers, but they're getting, uh, they're getting the real deal from, from my end. They're not, I'm not holding anything back, you know. And beyond that, if, there, if you're holding to a cause orientation, or you've been outcasted, and they're kind of trying to form you in this way and make you and mold you, to looking like an out, you know, an outsider that 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 is a, a punishable by this vigilante stalking or what we know as cause stalking or gang stalking. Um, remember, they're protecting the criminal uh, element that they're trying to display targeted individuals as to society. They want society to believe that you're cause oriented, that you're going to do something stupid, and that's that that couldn't be further from the truth if you're all about eternal life and a relationship with God and a relationship with Christ because it's a spiritual thing. And when it's a spiritual thing, it, that means it's a spiritual war. Even the things you do have a direct impingement on what goes on behind the scenes, what goes on in the unseen, what goes on in the spiritual, all right? So like when you pray, you read. Like for me... I hear a lot of Christians saying their targeting gets better when they pray, they fellowship, they read their Bible, they study, they, you know, they're with other people. For me, it's the exact opposite. When I pray, when I read, when I get into my worship, I get attacked heavily. I get surrounded. Um, just the other day, for example, I was coming out of the gym and there was a skinwalker driving a CA exempt vehicle. And I understood that, you know, the skinwalkers, he couldn't make a correct stop at the stop sign. Uh, as, I was exit, as, I, as I was exiting and I was just stretching outside in front of my community gym, he kept running the stop sign and turning around, You making a U-turn on both ends. He kept doing it. And, and then as I was walking back to my house, he, he ended up waiting near the exit, the, the entrance exit gate of the community. Just And he was a... He, look, a skinwalker is going to do what he's been, uh, what's the mind control, you know, automaton, you know, structure of existence does. So this is why I'm saying, and I totally got offline with that, but I had to give you that example anyways. Nonetheless, this is what happens is they'll send people um, 
to try to form you. They want to form you, okay, into a, an, a, an element of cause. Like, you're the one who's suspicious. You're the one who is a surprise to everybody. But everyone, when in fact, everyone else is in on it. Okay, you see how that's how this little game works, is everyone else is in on it. Um, and, and they're of the world, okay? And so this is the kind of dual element or dual understanding A and B that I use to try to, and it's not, I don't go seeking, like a lot of, I was there when you're at that stage of like, you're really throwing yourself into it, you're hyper vigilant about who's, who's a real TI, who's, a, who's not a real TI, and to be honest, that's taken, first off, that's taken the focus away from God, and it's really elaborating on the focus of false self. All right, you should be doing the exact opposite. You shouldn't worry about what you first off what you think about others, and, and second off what others think about you in terms of being a real targeted individual. And that's why you don't have anything to prove to anybody. The relatability b will come through your testimony, through the experiences that you talk about, through the, the the little things that are of human quality, are of human resonance, are of human understanding, and. Sometimes it takes a little time, okay? So don't be apt to just throw yourself into disbelieving or believing someone's real or not. Um, I believe the people that subscribe to me are, they understand that I'm a real targeted individual just by the things I've said, the testimony that I've given about it, all right? And my witness to Christ, the person of Jesus Christ in my life. Now, some Christians come in and they don't like how I preach or how I teach Jesus Christ. They expect me to play the game of how they were indoctrinated superficially to the scriptures because they have such a good knowledge base. Um, but understandably, I was never allowed in to that um, way of, of indoctrination. It didn't come to me well. I didn't understand it well. It was very. I was. I was destined to move beyond that. So I saw it. You know, I followed and I sought and I came to a different understanding of what was really going on to me. And I never was out, um, I never went out to try to uh, justify or be, or even be against what they were doing. But I always went inward and I studied. And, and for some people it just works out differently. And so I think a lot of people who subscribe to me, they understand uh, it's not about frills and and. and putting on a smiley face and pretending you're happy every day. That's not true rejoice uh, of an eternal awakening or the born-again nature. That, that, that's superficial, shallow, um, publicized behavior of, of putting on a facade before the public. And to me, that's, it's, it's, it's generally a waste of time, and it's a good doubt that when someone behaves according to that, and then they come in and, and they tell you and they try to discredit you, it's a, probably a good chance if you just put a little observation and logic and reason behind what it is these simpletons do, that, that you know, you can just dismiss them. And, and, and if they prove you wrong later and, and, they, and they start coming about with a testimony that's much deeper and, and then you find relatability, confirmation, and you connect the dots to your own experience. And that's even what I've done about Christ is I began connecting the dots about the person of Jesus Christ in my life, he doesn't lead people away from no suffering. He leads them in a place of uh, not only suffering, but a place of, uh, of deeper sanctification to be closer to him. And when, you know, when you're closer to God, you're going to go through a spiritual war that um, very few people will.